I know it's been a while since last time I came here, right? As you saw, my topic, fake it until you make it. Is that right? Well, it seems to be a very trendy thing those days. Fake it till you make it. I'm very transparent person. I'm very honest, you know, with my feelings, with who I am and I'm very true to myself. And for me, this doesn't work. What you see, what you get. And when you look online about the saying, fake it until you make it, there is a lot of times in life that it does make sense, right? When you are introverted and you have a hard time to put your face out there to meet new people, sometimes you have to fake it until you make it. You have just to pretend that you are a people person and then go to a network group. When you have a hundred people in the room and you don't know anybody, but you still, you know, try to pretend that you are that social butterfly, right? But it's not my case. I can't fake it until I make it. I know with the internet those days, especially with social media, this became so natural those days. So people fake it all the time, you know, until they make it, or they're never gonna make it. Because I believe that if you pretend that you're already there, you're never gonna get there because you're not gonna work as hard that you need to get there. You sometimes live in a lie, right? You are pretending all the time. At one point, you're gonna believe that you already get the place that you want to be. But why I decided to do this video today, right? Back in November, you know, I did a video and that I say that it's okay to not be okay. At the time, I was very upset. I have a friend that passed away and I I was just healing and I was in pain and it was a very difficult time for me. Since November, I found myself in a very uh, deep depression and I've been trying just to fight my depression over the months. Folks, you know, with the social media, uh, the world the ways is today, what you see out there, there is a lot of people that have depression, but they don't talk about it, right? And that's why I say, you know, a lot of people fake it till they make it. I have shared here with you all that I had depression since I was a kid. That's since I understand that I'm, per I'm a person. And, and I had learned over the years how to deal with my depression. And when I come here to share with you that, and I say open to everybody that I'm fighting depression, I'm not here for you to feel sorry for me. I'm not here for you just to, to get your attention from me. I'm here just to get the attention for yourself too. I'm trying to create awareness about, you know, how dangerous is depression and how dangerous it is for us to live a fake life. Fake it until you make it, right? And I've been fighting depression hard, hard since November. And it always started with a friend that passed away, like in the spur of the moment, with a heart attack. And since then, I have all the things that just piled up and make it worse, right? Doesn't mean I don't do things. I keep doing things. As you see, I went to vacation. I made a point just to go to Brazil and have my time with my family because I need that time. I had to recharge my batteries, right? I have to reconnect with my roots with my soul, I thought it was good for me. So I did something about it, right? But I also feel like that when I am depressed, I feel like it's 10 times harder to do the things that I usually do, right? So I still get up off the bed the majority of the times, you know, like yesterday, I didn't feel like getting up the bed. I stay all day in bed and it's okay. But I'm saying that I still doing the things that I have to do, but it's harder. It takes me more effort, you know, more time and more energy. Just to give you some example, like uh, last Saturday was my dear friend Claudia's birthday. I put it on my schedule so I could be there for her. I didn't feel like going out. I didn't feel like interacting with people, but I made a point to go for her, out of love for her, to be there. You have no idea how hard it was for me just to get ready and dress up, put makeup on, and get in my car, and get to the, the hotel in DC. But guess what? I got there, one hour I was there, I still was a little feeling awkward, wasn't feeling myself. There was a lot of different crowd, a lot of people that I didn't know. But, but one hour later, you know, I could tell that I was enjoying my time. I was interacting with people. I was meeting people. And I came home at 10.30 and I told my son and I said, you know, Khalil, 
I felt like not going because I didn't feel like dressing up and interacting with people, but when I get there, I had good time. Now, during this time, since November, that I've been fighting this strong depression, I went to Brazil. I did have good time with my family. When you see me coming here, it's just because I feel good to come here. I'm not faking. I'm not pretending. And when I don't come here, it's just because I don't feel like coming here. That is not a point, right? And even like if it's a negative thing that I have to share, something that's not fun, I always try to deliver in a positive way. That's why I thought this message was important for me to share. I have some of you that had reached out to me to find out what's going on. And I have, you know, share with some of you that I have been fighting a strong depression since November. And I have good days and I have bad days like any other time in my life. Those days I have been feeling more down than more like, you know, happy, energized, like I'm always am, right? By the way, it's a very normal thing those days. People don't say it because they're faking the most of the time. But when you're fighting depression, you, you have very little interest or pleasure to do things, right? You feel down, you feel you know, depressed, you feel hopeless, right? You you can't sleep. I'm having a hard time to sleep those days. I don't go to bed until probably 1 a.m. I feel constipated, you know, and have very little energy, right? And sometimes I feel bad about myself, or guilty that I'm not doing the right thing. What should I be doing at this time, you know? And I don't feel accomplished enough. I have difficult times to concentrating, and it's hard sometimes. You know, when you feel yourself depressive, you have a hard time to do a lot of tasks. You have to take one thing at a time. I'm sharing this with you open and being transparent because my story, you know, can heal somebody, can help somebody. There is a lot of people there suffering with depression and they are faking every day. And I'm not talking about women only, men as well. And for men, it's even harder because they were trained, they were Thought that they can't speak up, they can cry, they can't let the feelings go, right? But as women, we have this advantage. We can speak up. We can't say how we feel. And that's why I'm here sharing this with you today. You know, I'm a godly woman and I'm holding and lowered just to this may show past. It's hard sometimes. And sometimes you really don't feel. Put your face out there. And the thing is, over the past few years, I have created this little bubble to protect myself. So I can't stay away from, you know, toxic people and people that are not going to add anything to my life. But if you don't have anything to add, there is no reason to be there. And it's a kind that to protect my soul. And especially in times like you're not feeling well with yourself, you can't allow negativity coming to you. It's not, it's not even an option, right? Because you're already feeling down. I want to change a little bit the topic here. Yesterday was International Women's Day. I was in bed all day yesterday because I was down. I wasn't feeling well. And I was seeing all the posts of women out there hanging out with other women, and that's awesome. For me, every day I celebrate women, not only on March 8th. I celebrate women every day in my life, all year long. So when I was seeing the pictures and the beautiful quotes that everybody was putting out there about encouragement, about empowering women, yeah, we are women, you know, we should be proud. But listen, and I look behind those posts and I look, I feel sorry. They are faking, you know, until they make it. And who knows if they're gonna make it. Some people out there just celebrate women's days and then trust me, they're gossiping other women. You can't fight for women's rights. If you don't protect, if you don't be there for your own friends, your own sisters, we must to stick with each other. We need to have sisterhood with each other, right? We can't be out there saying happy women day when you, you don't stick for each other. We don't lift each other up, right? That's my message here. I am who I am. You're going to like me for who I am or not, and that's okay too. And another day, I saw this quote, and she said, I asked God why I'm going to trouble waters. 
God responded to me that the reason I'm going to trouble waters is just because my enemy can swim. Amen to that. I had to ask God, why am I going to trouble waters? And I think exactly what God says. When I look around and I see who are my friends those days, who really are there for me, it's not that many. And I see the reason God has allowed me to go to the trouble waters today, because my enemy can swim. So those are the people that are not here with me when I need a friend, right? They are all there gossiping and talking because that's how they feed the ego, they own insecurity. So that's my point here for you today, folks. Don't fake it until you make it because then you're never going to make it. That's my final message for you today. Don't feel sorry for me at all. I'm strong. I have thick skin. I got this. It just happened that a lot of things piled up. Now it got overwhelming for me. I can see that I'll come out of this and stronger and better, more energized. And God gonna teach me a lesson. I will take this time just to to observe, to learn more about myself, what's around me. And that's my message for you today. And so what you see from here, it's true. I keep it, it real all the time. Don't fake it until you make it because you may never gonna make it because you're gonna say a lie for you. You can lie to everybody, but you can't lie for yourself. I want just to, you know, empower all the women, men as well, that if my story can help you, amen. Just and always remember, be you, do you, and stay true. Don't fake it until you make it. I love you all, folks. Bye-bye.